Thanks for visiting Hockey Us. Our next skill is one touch passes, okay? A lot of guys, you know, do this a little bit too much. It's good for breakouts and stuff. You don't want to do it too much. You want to be able to do it in certain situations. The best situations for one touch passes, like I said, are touching the puck to your center on the breakout, on the power play in the zone, in the neutral zone. If you see a guy up ice, you just want to get a quick touch to him. But most of the time, they're best, the one touches are best for area passes. We're going to do a little work on one touch passes right here. We're going to give it back and forth to each other and we're just going to have our heads up. We're going to always be looking at the other guy. We're going to have our six in front of us giving a target and just touch it back and forth as quick as we can. So watch. We have soft hands. Soft hands. Now, for the more, the more advanced player, what we can do is we can start moving our body. So if you watch me during this drill, he's gonna stand still still. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move forward as I make the pass and backward as I catch it. And what this does is it gets me used to making and receiving passes in a game situation, so watch. Okay, another drill you can do with one touch passes is move back and forth with your partner. One guy goes forward, the other backwards. Once you get to the wall, you go the other direction, so watch. Come in this way. All right, now coaches, if you want to get involved with your players in this, that's awesome, especially at the younger ages. This guy here is on one of my teams and I work with him a lot. And for the coaches to jump in and do the drills with the kids, it'll pick their speed up if you're a better coach. And if you can skate well, it'll pick up the, the speed of the players. So, um, you know, if, uh, if you got a, uh, a beginner group of kids, jump into the drills and pick the tempo up of your team. All right, thanks for visiting Hockey Us.